I'm Joel Feiner and I'm a programmer. I've been contra dancing for about two and a half years now. I started at the beginning of 2013 on a first Saturday dance and I was hooked from the very first night. I've been coming pretty much weekly since then. I've tried several different types of dancing besides contra, but the main one that I do regularly is blues dancing and blues fusion dancing. So even though I started Contra two and a half years ago, I'd known about it for probably 10 years. I had a bunch of friends who would go every now and then. They'd try to get me to come along, but I, of course, you know, I'm not a dancer. I don't do that kind of thing. I even came in and watched one time. I looked and I, I saw these people spinning around and doing all this stuff. I'm like, I will never do that. But one day I decided just to give it a shot. And, um, and it was actually the same group of people who had been going. They invited me and I decided this time to go ahead and say yes. And it was a really good decision. If I had to explain Contra to people, and I often do, because I'm frequently recommending it to my friends and family and coworkers, I would say that, first of all, it's not a line dance. So there are lines, but it's not a line dance. It's similar to square dancing. We sometimes do squares. But importantly, it's a group dance. You have partner moments. There's several different figures that you do uh, with your partner. But you're also doing things with groups of four or with the whole line. And there's sort of this connection to the whole room. Everybody's doing the same thing at the same time. In another type of partner dance, like swing dancing or tango or salsa, you know, people are in the room and you can kind of pick up on that energy, but everyone's doing their own thing. Each couple has their own um, activity. But in Contra, it's this giant, whirling, mechanical thing that everyone's part of. And you're, you're sort of a cog, but you're also able to add your own flourishes and your own uh, modifications to the dance. It's a framework within which you can express yourself and enjoy the music and I find that to be somewhat unique compared to a lot of modern dance forms. It's different from a lot of dances. It's also more beginner friendly. It's more welcoming, I feel like, than say salsa or swing or other types of dances that have a large focus on technical proficiency. Contra is a great activity. For one, it's exercise. I mean, yes, you don't cover all the major muscle groups, you know, so you still gotta go to the gym, but you're moving around, you're using your arms and legs. Uh, there's cardio, especially if you're really getting into it. But it's fun. You're not just trying to do repetitions or trying to run, you know, for X number of miles. You're having a good time. You're with people. You're listening to music. Everybody else is doing it. It's, it's enjoyable. It's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to listen to music. I've, I've found some bands that I really like. I've bought CDs and I listen to them at home. You know, that depends on whether or not you like the style of music, but I personally do. So there's really a lot of good reasons. It's just, it's a very positive environment. And um, if you can really get into it, I, I feel like it uh, is often the highlight of a week. If I had to pick a favorite thing about Contra, I would say, well, it's definitely a hard decision, but I would say it might actually be the music. If there's a, uh, a well-played fiddle, fast pace, and percussion, and a good guitar, I am, I am in heaven. It, it just have it, I just feel it go through me, and I'm able to just translate that into dance moves, and that's what I remember. I just remember being in that moment of, of happiness and being connected with the music and everyone else on the dance floor. I totally recommend Contra to my friends and family. I've, in fact, been able to get several of them to come at least a few times. Uh, it doesn't always stick, but I'm always trying to get more people to come, and people do often enjoy it. Uh, so yes, I would definitely recommend it to uh, other people.